In this clip, we'll talk about counting. Counting is the basic uh, technique for computing uh, probabilities. We we used uh, in in previous lectures uh, we used uh, a simple model, right? So we have we, we we have a bag, and then we have an object, and we pick one object out of this bag. In we're gonna move to a slightly more general model, but it is basically the same. In the previous uh, simple model, um, this bag, the set of bags that we pick some object out, uh, represent uh, the sample space. Now we we gonna it 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 is essentially the same model, but uh, we move uh, we change some uh, the words slightly. Um, so. Uh, so instead of picking something off a back, we have a random experiment. Random experiment, and and from this we might we might do many things. We may pick uh, some object out of a back and then uh, put it back, and then pick another object. So we do various things in here, okay, random, and then we get one outcome. from this experiment. And this outcome is again, outcome O, is a, a, a member of this bigger set. Called, and, and this bigger set is, the, uh, is, is, is this big set is, called, is a sample space. Okay, so it's, it's, it is essentially uh, the, the it's roughly the same, but uh, we 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 we're not gonna just pick one thing from the back here. We 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 might do many complex things. But if you think of this as a big bag, then it it is basically the same in in terms of like picking something out. Okay, so we basically pick one outcome out of the sample space. Uh, the sample space. Okay, and. <clears throat> And the model we are using here, we also assume that in this sample space, okay, all outcomes, all outcomes are equally likely. So each outcome occurs with the same probabilities. So therefore, if you want to compute the probability of an event A, it, uh, we, we get to the same kind of computation. So we need to uh, figure out the set the size of this this set a and we're going to divide by the size of the sample space okay the reason for that is that for each outcome because they are equally likely um, uh, the probability that we get one of that outcome in a set is one over the size of the sample space therefore we 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 take the sum and we get this okay we're gonna see a more rigorous treatment of this when we talk about probability axiom. Let's take a look at the first example. Okay, in this case we have a bag with one white ball and three blue balls. So this, the, this is the bag, uh, one white ball and three blue, ball, blue balls. So let's say B, B, B. Uh, to avoid confusion, let me put uh, B1, B2, B3. And then we draw two balls from the back. Um, we can think of this as, as, as the two-step process, where basically uh, we pick the first ball and keep it, and then pick the next ball. So what is the probability that one of the balls is white? Okay, so let's, let's do this in two steps. So we, let's try to count. count number of outcome first okay uh, so what what are the outcomes so uh, the first uh, ball that we can pick is either W B1 B2 and B3 and for each of this we can we keep it right and then uh, okay so we start from here you can think of this as as taking uh, a route along some some road network. So the first step we have 
four choices here, right? And then after we pick this white ball, we have uh, three other choices. So pick B1, B2, B3. This is the same thing, okay? The B1, B2, B3. Oh, not B1, B2, B3. And, okay, so if you count, so at the end of the process, you end up with, at the, as, at, at this uh, destination, how many are there? So the first step, you have four choices, and then for each of the choice from the first step, uh, you have three other choices. So in the end, you have, uh, so the number of outcome is 12. With, this is, uh, okay, 4 times 3. And how many of this outcome uh, that uh, contains uh, one white ball? So, uh, four of the, uh, 3 of this, right? And each one of uh, this one. And you got to pick the view here, right? So you have 1, 1, 1. And that's 6. Okay, so the probability is 6 or 12, and that's 1 half. All right. Ooh, I should write it here anyway. So um, what we've done in the previous example is that uh, we, we use this basic principle of counting. It's kind of obvious, but let me state it. Uh, uh, all right. Um, but you have to be really careful because in, in probability theory, it is extremely easy to make a mistake. We'll see, we'll see some more example of that. Okay, so in this, uh, when, when we talk about basic principle of counting, we perform two experiment. Okay, so we have experiment one, and we have experiment two. And, and the first experiment has uh, impossible outcomes. So we can think of this as, again, as a, we're taking a road trip. Okay, so you can end up here, you can end up here. And many of that. And you have M of this, okay? And for each outcome from the first experiment, okay, you have, in the second experiment, you have another N choices to go. Okay? If this happens, and, and, and let me, me note again that uh, this N choices for the second experiment uh, f for for different uh, outcome from the first experiment, uh, don't have to be the same. Okay, they don't have to be the same. Okay, but what has what has to be the same is the number of outcomes. Okay, and if if this this is true, then that we know that there are m n possible outcomes. So uh, if you just count, right? So it's same n times n possible outcomes. Right, so let's take this into uh, a more practice. Okay, there are four balls in the back. Two of them are white, two of them are blue. Okay, so what's the number of uh, uh, possible outcomes? Okay, so, <coughs> so if, if you want to take two balls from a bag, <coughs> So the first, uh, the first ball that you pick, you have uh, how many choices? You have four choice, right? And for each of the first ball that you pick, you're left with three, three other choices. So from the basic principle of counting, you know that you have 12, 12 outcomes. If you want to be uh, more concrete, you can just write the three 
you can enumerate all the possibilities, right? So this is the B2, B1, B2, like that. So you have 12 outcomes. Okay, so that's for two experiment. You can have uh, experiments with the same kind of <coughs> assumptions. So the first uh, experiment uh, has N1 possible outcomes. And for each outcome from the experiment one, there are N2 possible outcomes for the experiment two. And for each outcomes of experiment one and two, there are N3 possible outcomes and so on for, for the experiment three and so on. So you have that you can multiply them all to get the total number of outcomes. Okay, so let's look at another example. Um, so we have four numbers in the bag, and we randomly choose three numbers from this bag by first choosing the first number, okay? Then without replacement, choosing the second, and finally choosing the third without replacement. So what's the size of the sample space? Again, we see that there are three experiment. Okay, and the first experiment has uh, four outcomes, and for each of the first outcome, you have three numbers left, right? And and after you choosing, after you chose two numbers, you're left with two other numbers. So this is the size of the sample space. Okay, so this is. Uh, 24 outcomes. Okay, so let's look at a more complex uh, example. So we have uh, three friends, A, B, C, D, E. Uh, how many ways to make a queue out of three, uh, five people? A queue of five people out of these peoples. These people. So what one of the possible queues is A, B, C, D, E, right? Another is may, maybe A, B, C, E, D. Maybe A, uh, B, A, C, D, E, and so on. So how many, how many of these are possible? So if you look at this, it's a five steps experiment, right? So the first, exper um, the first step, we pick one of the guy, one of the, the people. And then we pick another, the second person, the third person, the fourth person, and the, f the fifth person. So in, when we pick the first person, we have, how many choices do we have? So we have five choices, right? Then we pick the second person. We have, we are left with four, four, pers four people. So we have this many choices, and we have this many possible outcomes and this and that in the last step. Again, note that the set of possible outcomes in the first uh, step is, is A, B, C, D, E, right? But in the second step, for each, for each outcome from the first step, you have different set of choices. And that's true for the later steps as well, okay? But what remains the same is the number of possible outcomes. So you get this, and so this is, this is uh, what what is this? <coughs> I think those. This is twenty, and this is six. So one, okay. And recall that this is uh, you write this as five factorial. Okay, so n factorial, so so it is n times n minus 1 times n minus 2, and so on, up to 1. And also we have, for simplicity, so we define factorial of 0 to be 1. Okay, so that's, that's the example. Okay, so let me finish this segment with one remark. Uh, when we have, when we look at a random experiment that contain many steps, and, and in many cases, we, we want to choose elements, elements from a set, 
And in our, our analysis, we usually have two approaches. So we can either regard the order of choosing, uh, regard that the order of choosing is significant. So we, we consider the first step pick, to, of picking the first element and the second step, third step. So if we, this is one choice, okay? Or we can just ignore the order co completely. So we just look at the, just the results. Um, <clears throat> and we have to be really careful about this choice. Um, in many cases, uh, which, which of the choice that you make, uh, take, uh, you know, keeping the orders or ignoring the order, if you analyze correctly, should get you to the same result because there can be only one, you know, value of probability of some, something, right? So, um, but you have to be really careful. So, this is my remark. Um, so, I would like to end this segment with this question. So, we have a bag uh, with four integers. And we want to pick two random integers from the bag, okay, with replacement. Okay, with replacement. Okay, so we choose the first integer, put it back, and choose the second integer. We want to compute the probability that the sum of the integers is four. Okay, so this is easy, right? Um, <clears throat> And this is not the question. So the question is this. So th there are two possible solutions. Okay, one with uh, with take into account of the the order. So what's the so let's count the the size of the sample space. The size of the sample space is so four choice for the first integer, and you put it back. So another four choices. So you have uh, 16 possible uh, outcomes, okay? And then uh, how many outcome has the sum of four? So it's uh, either one and three, right? Two and two and three and one. And that's it, right? Probably that's the only three outcomes. So the probability is uh, what, uh, three, over 16 okay now if we just ignore the the order altogether so we we're gonna end up with a, a set okay so it, it's gonna be a multi-set because you can have uh, an outcome which look like this so let's try to so this one keep order so if you ignore the order the ordering, okay. If you just ignore that, uh, so the size of the the sample space is uh, maybe one, two. Let me try to enumerate them all: one, three, one, four, and you can have one, one, and then you have uh, two, 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 three, two, four. And then you have uh, three, 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 four. And finally, you have four and four. Okay, one, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So it's, it's ten possible outcome. So what are the the outcome that gives you the sum of of four? So it's uh, this one, right? And what else? And this one. So there are two outcomes that get you the sum of four of ten outcomes. So this is point two. Oh, okay. Do you, do you notice this? They are different. So which one is correct? And what's wrong with another one? So, or, or maybe both of these solutions are incorrect. And uh, which shouldn't be, but anyway. So what's wrong with one of the one of the calculations? So this is my question for this segment. See you in the next segment.